1380 WHBC Sports presents the High School Football TV Game of the Week. The AltCare TV Game of the Week is brought to you by Sarda, Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, Malone University, Old Carolina Barbecue, Altman Health Foundation, Amos and Dental Group, Maslin Cable Television, Friends and Family Credit Union, Expert Auto Collision, Jersey Sports Grill, and Alt Care, and can be seen locally on this TV Canton. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to Perry High School for the Alt Care TV Game of the Week tonight. It's a non-league matchup between the two and two Louisville Leopards and the four and zero Perry Panthers. Well, hi again, everybody. I'm Dave Sheets. I'll have the play-by-play. -play. Joining me is Mark Miller, who is the color analyst tonight, of course, and our sideline reporter, Frank Salona, along with statistician Bob Jeffries and our image video crew. A late start tonight, an hour delay due to a severe storm rolling through the area around 545 th earlier this evening. But Mark Miller, let's take a look, first of all, at the visiting Louisville Leopards, who after an 0-2 start have bounced back, and they've won their last two in convincing fashion. Yes, they have, and a couple of the guys that have made it happen for them on offense. We're going to highlight number five, Max Hartline. He's a 5'11", 183-pound senior. He's a wide receiver. No, he's a running back. No, he's a kick returner. <laughs> he can do anything when the ball's in his hand. He is very dynamic. Perry has to keep an eye on him. On defense, another guy that is very versatile, number 13, Jared Maddy, six foot, 202 pound senior, was last year's quarterback. Injury came back. This year he's playing wide receiver. But one thing that has never changed, he is a linebacker, and he will come up and really slap you. He is a tough guy that they're going to have to account for on every play. Thank you, Mark. We look forward to your comments throughout the game. Now we travel down on the sidelines and check in with our Frank Salona. Frank, you have a closer look at the home team tonight, the Perry Panthers. Yeah, you know, David, uh, this, this team is uh, breaking news coming out of the Perry Panther locker room. They're going to run the football tonight, believe it or not. They've got that three-headed monster with uh, Jaron Curtis, Coleman, and Leitner. And I tell you what, Louisville will have their hands full. They have got to stop the run tonight if they've got a chance to win this ball game. On the defensive side, though, for Perry, they have got to rely on that defensive front. Vinny, Vinny Scurry, the young man that's the defensive tackle, he's got to come up and play well, put pressure on Colton Jones. They've got to get to him. If he stays back there all night and no pressure on him, he'll pick you apart. He's that good. All right, thanks a lot, Frank. We look forward to your work on that sideline here tonight. When we come back, we'll have the opening kickoff. We'll, of course, bring you the starting lineups, and this one will be underway as Louisville tangles with Perry. That kickoff is coming your way next. Where you matter. With AltCare, you have more than just a health plan. You have a team of people whose purpose is to be your advocate. During all stages of life, AltCare will be there to ensure you receive the best health care. AltCare's dedicated staff puts your needs first, making sure you and your family receive quality health care services. AltCare, where you matter. Learn more at altcare.com. AltCare. For over 45 years, we've cultivated our community from the ground up because we know that to grow a beautiful world, it takes more than just water and sunlight. So when it came to growing our business, it had to be the new pilot. It's all about keeping things fresh by adapting to any environment. The 2018 Pilot. Green thumbs are better with a Honda. Upgrade to a new pilot for just $369 per month. Shop your local Honda dealer or online at northernohiohondadealers.com. How's your home? Safeguard knows, and you can too. Wherever you are, day or night, whatever you're doing, Safeguard Home Security is professionally monitoring your home 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can check on your home from anywhere at any time on your smartphone, tablet, or computer. The Safeguard app makes it easy to put your mind at ease. Safeguard Security from MCTV. Your home is just fine. Back here at Perry High School, our All Care TV Game of the Week. Game time conditions, 67 degrees, some humidity, a possible thunderstorm later tonight. Louisville won the toss, but they did the first, so Perry will receive the opening kickoff. 
Mark Miller has our MCTV keys to the game prior to tonight's opening kick. Mark? I think, first of all, win special teams is very important. It gives field position. It causes sudden change if you get a big play. Red zone efficiency is next because of limited opportunities. Perry's going to waste a lot of clock. Force them into plan B. It'd be great if Lewis Perry could make uh, Louisville run the ball and if Louisville could make Perry throw the ball. I don't think that's going to happen, but if you can limit them and force them in that direction, it would be a big key to All your right. success. Thank you, Mark. Those are the MCTV keys to the game. There you see senior kicker number 38, Travis Pape, ready to tee it up and kick it away. A high end over end kick taken at the 15 by the Panthers to the 30 and out near the 35 yard line on the return. That is Dominic Venice. And the sophomore, the 5'8 sophomore on the return. Time to take a look at the starting lineups for the Perry Panthers, brought to you by the Northeast Ohio Honda dealers. The wide receiver is Vanessa. The tight end is Kirkbride. Across the front, it's Luster, Huff, Johnson, Millen, and Norris. The running backs are Curtis, Coleman, and Leitner, and the quarterback is Scurry. We'll check that Louisville defense after this opening play. Perry in that very familiar wing T offense. Keith Wakefield's trademark look they'll put a man in motion and they'll give it to the back on the carry Jaron Curtis forward for maybe a yard on first down as we check now the Louisville Leopards defense across the fronts Gord Brendel Robbins and Pew the linebackers are Maddie Lingle Rody and the corners are Sealander Zupi the safeties Reebok and Beamer so second down and nine play coming up now for the Perry offense just underway here at Perry Stadium. A wing T look and the handoff and breaking tackles and out across the 40 yard line is Chave Leitner number 32 and he has a first down for the Panthers. You know they had a hit on him at about two or three yards of gain but he fought through that. These this opening series is really important for Louisville because by deferring they gave Perry another possession that could be five or six minutes off the clock that your offense isn't out there throwing the ball all over the place. So they really need a stop here. First down for the Panthers at their own 42 yard line 11 minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Just underway here at Perry Stadium our all care TV game of the week the handoff goes to Coleman. And Coleman with good yardage as he crosses the 45 near the 47. This is the second time we've seen Perry and this offensive line is not the typical Perry line the huge size but this is a solid unit and they really have seemed to work well together Mark. Well one thing for sure Keith Wakefield's teams are going to get better in this young offensive line a lot of them new to start the season. They will get better and better and he'll take advantage of what they can do. You mentioned not as big. Let him move get angles to block a little better. Scurry hands off straight ahead. Good yardage again for Curtis as he pounds into Louisville territory. He's going to have another first down and the official will set the ball down at the Louisville 47 yard line with 10 minutes and 10 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Speaking of officials our referee Doug Velochko umpire Greg Shimmick. Linesman Kasim Ahmed, line judge Dan Baylor, and back judge Brian Bednarstic. First down and 10 at the Louisville 47. Opening drive for the Panthers. Man in motion and the give to Curtis. Curtis breaks a couple of tackles. Now he'll be gang tackled at the 41 yard line. That's going to be a pickup of about six yards on first down for Jaron Curtis. Curtis comes into the ball game with over 360 yards on the ground and six touchdowns for the 5'9 senior. Jared Matty up off the bottom of that pile in there plugging away. Louisville's defense is very aggressive right now and they are loaded in the box. They're ready to stop this run game just hard to do. 9-19 to go first quarter. And they're going to give it to Leitner. Leitner right side. He's got a running room out there. Crosses the 35 and all the way down near the 30 yard line. Another first down for the Perry Panthers. This is what they do Mark isn't it. This is what they do. <laughs> and, and a great play action fake carried out by the quarterback Scurry and nobody paid attention to him. Watch maybe a bootleg coming in the future of Perry's offense. 
So another first and 10 for the Panthers at the Louisville 30 yard line just under nine minutes to go here in the opening quarter. And the give. To the wing back from the far side running room is Leitner. Leitner into the secondary cuts it back and he is down near the five yard line. It'll be first and goal for the Panthers. Well getting him uh, with a little open field around him is a dangerous thing. Mm -hmm. He is very good making people miss one on one tackles. First down and goal for the Panthers at the Louisville five yard line opening drive of the Alt Care TV game of the week. Glad to have you with us. Dave Sheets, Mark Miller, sideline reporter Frank Salona, statistician Bob Jeffries. And the give to Curtis. Curtis goes right side and he is stacked up as he'll take it to about the two. Tackle by number 13, Jared Matthews. Jaron Curtis, boy, he's put together well. Yes, he is. He's, and he runs low. He's, you see him dip his shoulder there. Just hard to bring down. And that's the way to bring him down, though, is a bunch of guys. You mm -hmm. can't one-on-one -on -one tackle him unless you get him around the ankles. Going to spot the ball at the three-yard line. Just under eight minutes to go here in the opening quarter. This is Perry's opening drive. Second and goal at the three. And the give. And to the end zone. Touchdown for the Panthers. As Chave Leitner takes it in from three yards out, 7.45 to go here in the first quarter. It's Perry six, Louisville nothing. Well, just exactly what they wanted to do. Just a consistent drive all the way down. They had a couple of decent plays, but not any gigantic plays. Nice cut up inside instead of trying to run, outrun everybody to the corner. And they took a little bit of time off the clock, not a lot, because of the good field position after the kickoff return. Senior Cade Basham on to attempt the extra point for the Panthers. Good snap, good hold, kick on its way. And the signal is good. 7.45 to go here in the opening quarter. It's Perry 7, Louisville nothing on the Old Carolina Barbecue scoreboard. Back after these messages. Are you looking for something different? At Friends and Family Credit Union, our success is defined by you. Our goal is to improve your financial needs and better your lifestyle. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Our friendly staff is fully committed to serving over 11,000 of its members. What are you waiting for? Stop in one of our locations today to become a friend of the family. You can't tell your cold to wait. Talk to a doctor now with the new Altman Now app. Get the app now. You can't tell your migraine to wait. Talk to a doctor now with the new Altman Now app. Download the Altman Now app now. For nearly 20 years, thousands of people have relied on SARTA for safe, affordable, reliable transportation. People like Misty Williams, who's riding SARTA to a brighter future. Misty's a full-time student and mom who uses our fixed routes to get to school, pick up her son at daycare, and return home at the end of a very busy day. School, shopping, Cleveland, Akron, the airport, for work or for play. People you know count on SARTA to meet their transportation needs. And we deliver. SARTA, where can we take you today? Back here at Perry High School on the Old Carolina Barbecue scoreboard. It didn't take the Panthers long. They take the opening drive and lead Louisville seven to nothing. Mark? Nine plays, four minutes and 15 seconds. Total yards of 68, all on the ground, of course. Three yard touchdown run by Leitner. Extra point good. Perry seven, Louisville zero. Thank you, Bob Jeffries. Basham ready to kick off now for the Panthers. Not a very long run up for this kicker. No. Three returners back. He puts it high and kicks it short. Taken at the 15 yard line on the return is Pukic. And he is stacked up near the 25 yard line. You know it's all about net isn't it. Doesn't matter how far there you kick go. it. That's how far they return it. 
Let's take a look at the Louisville offense again, brought to you by your Northeast Ohio Honda dealers. The wide receivers are Burek, Zupi, Pukic, and Matty. Across the front, Stafford, Norquest, Nolte, Joseph, and Urich. The running back is Hartline, and the quarterback is Colton Jones. I wonder if Jones' arm is not sore now after last Friday. There you go. I, I listened to that on the way home after our game. I couldn't believe it. He went over 500 yards. He's thrown for over 1,000 yards now on the season. In four Jones games. With a high snap, tosses it, catches made. Forward progress to the 26, maybe a yard, and the reception by Brian Zuppi, I should say Bryce Zuppi, the six foot senior. Now we'll take a look at the Perry defense across the front. Coleman, Scurry, Jalel and Barnes. The linebackers are Curtis, Huff, and Wengard. Defensive backs, Robinson, Scurry, Venice, and Armstrong. So no gain. Ball remains just across the 25-yard line. 7.05 to go here in the first quarter. Jones back to throw. He'll look. He'll throw. It is broken up. Again, pass intended for Zuppi out at the 35-yard line, but well covered by the Perry secondary. Colton Jones has done a really nice job so far in the season of moving the ball around. He doesn't have a, a receiver that um, catches a lot more than any of the others. He has four or five guys. They all catch it well. There's the flat and hook combination. Uh, the underneath guy, the linebacker there, number 20, was reading the quarterback's eyes. He saw him look inside to the hook, and that, or 28, I'm sorry, and he broke to the hook. Nice play. That was Jonathan Backus, a 5'11 yeah. junior. Thank There's you, Dave. 28. Yeah, sure. That was a nice play by Backus. Third down and 10 now for Jones in the offense. Again, a high snap. Here comes the pressure. He steps up. He throws. And it was intended for Zuppi again out across the 40. But that one just came out of his hand poorly and never had a shot. And I think it might have been because the defensive rush made him move. You know, he, he was not in that rhythm of setting the back foot, stepping up and throwing. Now he's on the move. His feet get a little cattywampus. And you're right. The ball came out of there a little crooked. So it'll be Zuppi in punt formation back inside his own 15 yard line back for Perry is number seven Devante Armstrong a sophomore at his own 40. Now Dave I'm a passing guy because I'm a quarterback but the bad thing about a passing team is they didn't take hardly any time off the clock and they're giving it right back to Perry. What a tremendous roll for Zuppi as the ball will roll down inside the 20 yard line. And it'll be down there by Louisville with 6.43 to go here in the first quarter. Stick around at the end of our ball game tonight during our wrap-up report. Mark Miller and I will select our player of the game, courtesy of the Altman Health Foundation. We'll select a player from one of these two teams. Always seems like it's a challenge, doesn't it? Yes, it's always <laughs> hard because so many kids play so hard and so well. That's that's why we're in Stark County, right? 56-yard punt. He really did a great job of flipping the field for his defense. So our player of the game brought to you by the Altman Health Foundation in our wrap-up report later tonight. First down and 10 for the Panthers. They took it the distance the last time on their opening drive. They'll hand it off to Josh Lemon this time. And this time, Louisville's defense rises to the occasion. Lemon picks up about three yards. Well, Frank talked about the three-headed monster. Lemon in there, this is a fourth head. They, they got four guys that can tote it. You see he runs hard. That's a nice form tackle there coming across from the linebacker spot. Second down and seven with 6.13 and a running clock here in the first quarter. Perry leads seven to nothing. Scurry, there's a fumble on the play, and Scurry immediately dropped by number 50. That's Jason Gord, big 6'5", 241-pound junior, who made sure that Scurry didn't get away. That's right. Ball went on the ground, and I, I'm not, I think Bord, Gord was in there to break up that play anyway. So here's a chance for Louisville to put Perry in third and long. You know, mm -hmm. still probably not a pass, but they have to go away from their normal uh, third down call when they think it's going to be three or four yards to go. Third down and nine. And a timeout taken by Perry. Do you love popcorn? Well, who does it? So 524 remaining here in the first quarter. It's Perry 7, Louisville nothing on the Old Carolina Barbecue scoreboard. 
chance to win. The more you buy, the more you can win. While we have a moment, let's visit with Frank Salona down on the Louisville sideline. This report brought to you by Sarda. Frank. All right, David, thank you so much. You know, Louisville, uh, an independent this year, they're no stranger to being an independent. They spent nine years over the course of many years as an independent team, but they spent some time in the Federal League years ago, and they came up uh, with a record over the years of 89-61-1 when they were 21 years in the Federal League. Now, this year they've played, this is their fourth Federal League team this year that they have played. They beat, or they lost, I'm sorry, to North Canton Hoover. They beat Green, they beat Lake, in this week against Perry. All right, thank you, Frank. That report brought to you by Sarda. So out of the timeout, Perry with a third down and nine. 524 here remaining in the first quarter from Perry High School. Will the Panthers put it in the air? That's the big question. Scurry going to hand it off. Lemon, Lemon with running room, crosses the 20, and then is held up and pushed back out near the 24. It's going to bring up fourth down. I heard a fan outside the press box yell, watch the, for the pass. I'm thinking, must be new to the area. <laughs> Here you go, a little, a little misdirection there. Good ball handling. And you can see the initial hole, but all oh, the DBs close quickly. Number eight really did a nice job of there getting up on that Andy Larson. Yep. Might have been six, the linebacker, Kim okay. Lingle that Thank time. You. Thank you. Perry in punt formation, a high kick, takes a Perry bounce. Getting away from it is Max Hartline. He'll let it go out of bounds on that far sideline near the 30-yard line. So the Louisville defense gets a stop on the second drive by Perry. Louisville gets the ball back for the second time on offense. And that's a great job by their defense. They even gained a little field position. You know, we've seen two punts. Mm -hmm. Both of them hit and rolled. That one rolled out of bounds. The other one rolled for about 30 yards. I had a coaching buddy back where I just moved from. He is determined that he has the stat. Every time you let a punt drop, it costs you 15 yards. Yards. That's the average. Louisville with a first down and 10 now as they start at their own 31 yard line. 437 to go first quarter. Hartline with the carry. Hartline breaks through the initial line of scrimmage and out to the 36 yard line. That's a pickup of five, maybe six yards on first down. And you know, everybody knows that Louisville passes the ball quite a bit, but, but Hartline has over 330 yards mm -hmm. rushing coming into this game, so he can tote the mail. Hartline, a 5'11 senior. Three touchdowns on the season. Coming into tonight's ball game at the 37. Second down and four. Quick toss to the 35 to the 40. First down. And on the reception is senior Jared Matty. He's got a Louisville first down. Well, they tried a similar screen play early in that first series, and it didn't work very well. But this time they had numbers out there. Jones does a great job of getting rid of it quickly, getting it into Maddie's hands. Maddie tried to cut back inside. Sometimes you get big plays by cutting against the grain. That time a nice one-on-one -on -one tap. Trips to the far side. First down and 10 at the 44. Give to Hartline again. Hartline runs hard, gets into Perry territory, and he is down to the Perry 45. That's going to be another first down, but Hartline is slow to get up. Stops the clock with 3.42 to go here in the first quarter. Hartline going to need a little break here at the end of this run. You see him there on your screen. See if we can see what happened to Max here at the end of the play. Well, good blocking up front there. He makes a miss. Good running backs always make a miss right there. He may have fallen on the ball. Mm. Knocked yep. the air out of him just for a second. You feel like you're going to die, but luckily it goes away quick. <laughs> They'll come out. On Saturday, November 10th, at the executive yeah, they need that character. He is very important to this football team. 342 remaining here in the first quarter. Officials allowed both teams to grab a bit of water there during that injury timeout. So the ball at the Perry 45. New set of downs for the Leopards. Louisville 2-2, two and two, Perry 4-0 coming into tonight's matchup, our Alt Care TV game of the week. Right, we talked about Louisville's schedule. Mm. They, they aren't dodging anybody. Wow, yeah. And so to be 2-2 two and two at this point and, and starting to play better now, Coach DeMarco's got to be pleased with his Leopards. Jones has the running back Dan Kennedy now, a 5'10 sophomore in the backfield with him. 
And they'll give it to Kennedy. Kennedy straight ahead. And Kennedy stacked up right at the line of scrimmage for no gain. And that time the Perry defensive line won the battle at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they got good penetration. Didn't get any ground there on the on the left defensive side. Look at the, the guys on this side of the ball. They're not going backwards at all. They're holding their ground and then get in on the tackle. Well, they're continuing to look with look at uh, Max Hartline on the sideline there. We'll see if our Frank Salona can maybe get an update on, on his condition. Jones with a second and ten drops back. He'll throw left side. It's caught by Maddie. Maddie turns the corner to the 30, to the 25, and all the way inside the Perry 25. That's another first down and a great throw and catch from Jones to Maddie. Jones showing off his arm strength there a little bit on the near hash, threw that ball all the way across to the other sideline. There he goes, standing right on those hash marks. Lots of zip on that baby because you leave that one short. Number 24 is going the other direction with that. Uh, that had a vapor trail behind it. <laughs> First down and 10, 2.47 and a running clock first quarter. Ball is at the Perry 23. The Leopards coming back. Quick toss. And it's caught over there inside the 20. We'll see where they mark the forward progress. The reception by Davis Burick, the 6'2 junior, wears number two. And now Hartline is going to come back into the game for the Leopards. Fans like seeing that, especially his mom. I assume she's down there somewhere. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but they're throwing the outs now on Perry, especially uh, up top against that three deep zone. They're giving you that underneath outcut. Well, they'll give him four on that pass and catch. Second down and six now. The give to Hartline. Hartline running hard. Takes it inside the 15 down near the 14 yard line. Very close to another Louisville first down. Clock stops at 229. It is going to be a first down. So the first series, three straight passes. This series, run pass mix, and it's working mm -hmm. really well. Nice hard run by the senior, Max Hartline. So the ball is at the Perry 18 now. They start the clock, 2.20 to go first quarter. Perry scored on the opening drive. This is Louisville's second drive, and they're now in the red zone. Trips to the near side. Jones back. Surveys the field. Throws middle. He's got his man to the 10, to the 5, and down near the 3 yard line on a crossing route is Davis Burek with the reception. Kind of an outlet. Looking into the end zone, trying to get big money. Rush was starting to come in. Smart quarterback. See his eyes down and down the field, down the field, and then he says, I'll just dump it off. Mm. Hit a guy on the move. Big yardage. First down and goal for the Panthers at the Perry two yard line. Jones has Hartline with him. He'll give it to Hartline and Hartline is smacked down right at the two yard line. No gain. Well Perry really sniffed that one out. There was nowhere to go and he did a good job of just getting the nose of it to the two. Yeah Hartline took another big hit here. Watch this. Bang. Yeah, yeah there's uh, two guys all over him. Clock running 126 125 here in the opening quarter second and goal Louisville at the Perry two yard line and Maddie takes the direct snap he cuts towards the end zone and no signal yet just short well no, no stranger signal. to lining up at the quarterback position they call it Wildcat or maybe just a bigger quarterback in there running this thing. Number 13, Jared well, they do have Jones split out to the right in this formation. Matty up under center. He's going to try and go straight ahead, and he is in trouble. And he will not get in. Wow, what a push by Perry's front four. That is going to bring up fourth down. They Clock continuing to run. They just shoved the offensive line into the backfield. Matty had nowhere to go. He did a good job of skirting around the left side just to get it back to the one. At the one yard line. Right there you can see it. Man, no, no movement toward the end zone, that's for sure. Fourth down and one. I think uh, they're going to let the clock wind down then maybe call a timeout. Play clock's down to seven. Game clock is at 13, and that's what John DeMarco is going to do. He's going to take a timeout with 11 seconds to go here in the first quarter. On the old Carolina barbecue scoreboard, it's Perry 7, Louisville nothing. We're back after this timeout.
With AltCare, you have more than just a health plan. You have a team of people whose purpose is to be your advocate. During all stages of life, AltCare will be there to ensure you receive the best health care. AltCare's dedicated staff puts your needs first, making sure you and your family receive quality health care services. AltCare, where you matter. Learn more at altcare.com. AltCare. Embarrassed to smile at family events? Unable to enjoy your favorite foods because of loose dentures? Haven't been to the dentist in a while because of fear? Get healthy at the Amison Dental Group at 3684 Dressler Road Northwest. Let us get you the smile you deserve. Call us at 330-452-2255. Mention WHBC when you call and receive a free take-home whitening kit, a $250 value. Amison Dental Group, where everyone deserves to smile. Back here at Perry High School, the Panthers lead it over Louisville seven to nothing with 11 seconds to go here in the first quarter. And a big play here, fourth down and one. Well, they've a tried fourth to- Fourth and goal, actually. Yeah, but they've uh, tried to go up inside a couple of times with no success. Now they got Jones at quarterback. Expect them to use the field a little bit more on this play. They had a first and goal at the two. It's fourth and goal now at the one. They give to Hartline. He is caught from behind and dragged down. And breaking through was Jaron Curtis, number 22, the inside linebacker. Well, they were even on a handoff. They were trying to go around the corner. And uh, Perry broke through, made a great play. That is a great defensive stand for the Panthers. And Mark, we're going to make this our first nominee for our friends and family credit union rock solid play of the game as Curtis came shooting through to get Hartline and drop him for a loss. Well, for all the schools that don't think a kid can play both ways, there's one that can. <laughs> there you go. Our friends and family credit union rock solid play of the game. We'll announce it in our wrap up report. Sure, we'll have several nominees before the night is over. Seven seconds to go here in the first quarter. Perry takes over on their own four yard line. And running to the left and hit down hard near the 10 yard line. Number 31, Richard Coleman. And that will mark the end of the first quarter. That was a hit by Maddie. We're going to show you this play one more time before we go to the break. Look at the hit at the end of this run. Right there. Maddie through people didn't have to wrap him up because he knocked yep. him over. Maddie made the hit. We've got one quarter in the books. We're going to step aside here at Perry High School. It's Perry 7, Louisville nothing on the Old Carolina Barbecue scoreboard. Buckle up, Northern Ohio. Cedar Point, here we come. You won't find bigger thrill seekers than us. And my CRV's got enough space for the whole crew and our appetite for adrenaline. Get ready, Ball Raven. You're first on my list. Thrills are better with my Honda! Upgrade to a new CRV for just $2.69 per month. Shop your local Honda dealer or online at northernohiohondadealers.com. For nearly 40 years, Expert Auto Collision has been serving Stark County with premium customer service and collision repair. Bring your wrecked vehicle and they'll immediately get to work with you and your insurance company to get your vehicle back to pre-accident condition. Expert Auto Collision's professional crew has the experience and the drive to bring your damaged vehicle back to life. Don't let an accident get your goat. Come see me, Tara, at Expert Auto Collision, the only female-owned and operated collision repair center in Northeast Ohio. Expert Auto Collision, where we meet good people by accident. Y'all know it's football season. Round these parts, football season is barbecue season. If you want to score big on game day, make Slow Smoked Old Carolina Barbecue your go-to spot before, during, and after all the games. No need to cook on Friday. Meet before the game at Old Carolina or grab a party pack and host the ultimate college or pro football party featuring award-winning ribs, tender pulled pork, and jumbo smoked wings. We have options for all your pigskin pig outs. Get more info at oldcarolina.com. Old Carolina Barbecue Company. Meet before the game. Wake up with Canton's Morning News. Pam Cook reports all the news, traffic, and weather you need to get your day started. News Talk 1480 WHBC. Online at whbc.com. Back here at Perry High School, the All Care TV Game of the Week, and on the Old Carolina Barbecue Scoreboard, Perry leads Louisville 7 to nothing. And moments ago, the Perry defense 
kept Louisville out of the end zone. Louisville had a first and goal at the two. And Mark, on four downs, Perry turned him away. They did a great job, stopped the inside run, and then on the last play, got a guy through the line of scrimmage for tackle for loss, turned it over to their offense. Second down and four. Ball is at the 10 yard line. And on the carry is number 11 for the Panthers. That is Kyle Middaw, a junior. Flag came in on the play as well. Thrown into the middle there where it could be a holding. We'll have to see which direction they mark it here. Yeah, that's typically where you see that. It is holding against the offense. Now, will Louisville accept it or take the play? Half the distance to the goal, you're only getting about four yards out of this thing. Louisville coach John DeMarco there. You yeah. see him. First quarter total yards. Perry had 80 all on the ground. Louisville 65, a little bit more of a mix. 43 in the air, 22 on the ground. Well, the referees are still communicating whether we're going to get the announcement here. Looks like they're going to decline. So they will decline it. Just underway, second quarter, 11 to 53 to go. So a third down and four, and another key play for this Louisville defense. They would love to get off the field and give their offense some potentially some really good field position. That would be huge, especially after you got stopped on the one yard line. Third down and five now we'll call it. Ball at the nine. For Scurry the quarterback. Leitner in motion. They'll give it to Leitner. Tries that left side. Puts his head down. Crosses the 15. And he is going to have the first down for the Panthers. That's a big play here early in this quarter. Yeah, I, you know, and they're tough to stop on third and five or third and anything less than that. But I still like the decision by Coach DeMarco. He had a good play about his defense. He's rewarding them, letting them have a third down and medium to try to stop them and get them to punt out of there. It just didn't happen. First down and 10 for the Panthers at their own 17 yard line. 11.25 to go, first half. It's Curtis. Curtis hit low by Matty and falls Jared forward Curtis to the 20 yard line. Matty's everywhere. He is. We've called his name a lot here early on. The thing about Curtis is he always falls forward. He's running so low. Even though he got tackled, he fell forward for another couple yards. That ball ends up on the 20 when the hit was made on the 18. Right. So he gains three, second down and seven. Ball at the Perry 20 yard line. Never did start the play clock. I think that's why Perry stayed in the huddle. Up oh, now we're going to get a delay a game. The back judge did make the signal. He was counting the clock down. And Perry's going to get a delay a game. That'll cost him five. Hey, you know, with all that rain and wind that, that blew th through here a little earlier, it surprised anything electrical works. <laughs> I mean, yeah, seriously, we <laughs> well, had some well, our crew, serious guts. They did a great job of getting us up and running, using hair dryers and all kinds of I'll stuff. I'll tell you what, they did a fantastic job. Yes, they did. Our director Billy Smith and his crew here tonight at the 15 yard line second down and 12. Scurry fakes and is going to keep he's got running room as he cuts it back to the 30. It's a foot race to the 40 and shoved out of bounds tackle made by Hunter Sealander the junior cornerback on Scurry but not before he breaks a long run. Well, he showed you his speed there. Comes up a little gimpy as he was pulled down from behind. And now the cutback over to this side, and he's trying to outrun the free safety. Switches the ball to the outside arm. That's good, smart play. And right there's where he kind of went down on his leg a little bit. And we got a penalty flag laying on the field, and it's going to be a sideline warning. 
So yeah, it's I kind saw. of a penalty flag with no penalty. I saw the uh, one of the Louisville coaches kind of maybe jawing a little bit there with the official, and then next thing you know, here comes the the warning. And again, a run like that, Mark, changes field position immediately, oh doesn't it? Sure did. Sure did. All the way out to almost midfield. And his first carry of the game. I mean, he he's uh, the the hidden gem in that running backfield. He can run the ball, too. At the 47, first down and 10 for the Panthers. And the give to Curtis. Curtis, again, constantly falling forward. Carries to the 50, picks up three on first down with 10-15 and a running clock here in the second quarter. You're exactly right, Dave. You sit in the stands and you say, oh, great job on defense. You stopped them, and he got three yards. It's second and seven. It's just a man. There's a hit at the line of scrimmage, and he falls for a couple mm -hmm. yards. Just shy of midfield is where they'll mark it. On a second down and seven play. Perry yet to throw a pass here in the first half. Not unusual. And they'll give it to the running back, Leitner. And Leitner picks up close to five to the 45 of Louisville. Remember, this drive started on the Perry four-yard line. Here you go. Little counter action. Leitner up top. And who's around the legs again? Matty. He has a lot of tackles. Third down and two now for the Panthers. Ball just shy of the Louisville 45. Glad to have you with us. Our Alt Care TV game of the week tonight. Perry in Louisville. Just like the good old days in the Federal League. Like the good old Federal League days. Curtis breaks off one tackler and carries down to the 41. That's going to be another first down for the Panthers with 9.06 to go here in the first half. Well, they're in the midst of a really nice drive that started back inside their own five-yard line. And then it to the big guy. Makes a tackle miss right there. Just threw him off. Yeah, just like a rag doll. Chuck him. So it's a first down. Perry at the 41 of Louisville. First and 10. Curtis, the lone back. Put a man in motion, and they're going to give it to Coleman. Coleman right side. Coleman dragged down from behind. A good defensive play by number 51 of the Leopards on the tackle. That's Maverick Pugh. A 6-2 senior. Was that a nice play by Pugh? You're mm -hmm. going to see him fight off a block right there. He's fighting off a block, then he makes the hit. Man, that's what you want defenders to do. Hey, it's good to see Maverick out there. He is a guy that missed all of 17 with a knee injury. Wow. Heard it again in the summer. Had another surgery. Got himself ready for the start of the season. Now he's playing at 100% or at least 100% of the plays, and he made a great play right there. Second down and six, the give to Curtis. Curtis has a hole. Curtis keeps it low, keeps turning, and he's down inside the Louisville 25-yard line with a new set of downs. Well, that, that was well blocked there. There were oh, yeah. guys on the, on the ground on this side over here. And look at that hole he can go through. And like you say, he, you know, he makes it. Now, Pugh was another guy that he uh, pursued and got in on. on